Hi, my name is Pierce Young. I'm a wildlife biologist here in central Mississippi, standing in one of the few open areas on this property in a moderate to high deer density. The first thought that comes to a lot of people's minds is, is this would be too shaded and too small of an area to support some kind of summer food plot. However, the plant that most people think of when they think of summer food plots is soybeans. And I guarantee you, if you tried to plant soybeans or cowpeas, even in the forage varieties, they wouldn't last two weeks. However, there is one plant that you can plant during the summer that would work just fine. American joint vetch is a summer annual commonly called deer vetch. This browse tolerant legume can be planted in southern states from April to mid-June and will last until first frost. As it gets eaten, it is stimulated to branch and will provide over 10,000 pounds of forage per acre per month at 20 to 30 plus percent protein all through the late summer stress period for deer and provide excellent bow hunting spots during early fall. Cost per acre is comparable to other summer forages such as soybeans or cowpeas. Although cost per pound of seed is higher, you only need a seeding rate of 15 to 25 pounds per acre depending on planting technique. Other benefits are its shade tolerance and tolerance of a wider range of pH in the soil. Common mistakes are planting too deep or not considering weed control. Top seed the seeds or drill at quarter inch depth. Control for weeds with application of glyphosate or imazepir herbicides. Post-emergent applications can be made with herbicides you would commonly use on clover, such as clethodum, to control grasses. Joint vetch emergence is typically slow at three to four weeks after rainfall. If you are looking for a more economical way to supplement protein rather than using a feeder or are limited on space or equipment, joint vetch is a great way to take deer management on your property to the next level. For more wildlife management guidance, go to our webpage at mdwfp.com and click on the Private Lands Program link to request a site visit with a wildlife biologist.